pretty interesting. When the battery gets low, this is how it works. So it tells you it's time to charge your battery. Here's a little addendum that I neglected to mention in my first review. On the tail boom is this little piece of black plastic and it slides forward to adjust the center of gravity so the forward flight or you can bring it back until it's at a hover point. But again, because it is tall, it easily flips <coughs> over. Let's try it. Another thing I'd like to point out is that the fin that is back here may look kind of small, but there is a lot of area there, and that keeps the tail from buffeting or moving too fast, and why uh, there is actually more area on this fin than there is on my honeybee. So this stops the buffeting in flight, much more stable. Transmitter always on first. Let me turn on the robocopter. It gives a little kick. And I do recommend hand launching it, so because otherwise it tips over real easy. So let's go ahead and run it up. Here we go. I gotta say it, it the thing is smooth. Very, very smooth. I find that uh, the weight here, which is this piece of plastic, actually flies the best, this whole unit flies the best with the weight back there. And uh, it's charging right now. This little transistor on the back also, that is a, that is where the infrared is being sent. That's the receiving part. So an app Absolutely no wind, this weight seems to fly, for me, the best all the way back. In fact, you could add more or less by wrapping a little bit of clay, a little piece of uh, modeler's clay on there. Okay, I've slid the weight all the way back now, so it's going to be a little more tail heavy, so let's see what happens now. So the mechanics and electronics on this version is uh, much better than what's on the uh, Havocs. So I assume, because of the good control, that we're going to see this set up in the newer version. Okay, this is what I've done to keep it from tipping over. I'm using a small piece of piano wire and I have just simply pushed it through the bottom. 
I put a little rubber hose on both sides, so I have a little skid there, and uh, that seems to be working pretty good and weighs very little. In comparison, it's much lighter than the carbon fiber rod and the stick that I cut off from my Tootsie Roll Pop. Much lighter. Okay, I've taken a couple Havocs apart. This is what it looks like in Havocs. I'm going to take the body and put it on the Robocopter. Okay, first half of the body is on. Okay, there's the converted unit.